What's up guys, back with another video, and for a while now, I've been thinking about doing a series going over how to kill all of the raid bosses with relative ease, and I figured we could go ahead and start with what I think is one of the more difficult ones, and that's Hyperius. Now, before we start, this video will be both character and gear dependent, and the reason for this is because I want to make defeating Hyperius as easy and as efficient as possible, and while there may be slightly faster methods, this is a strategy that is fairly reliable and will work well once you've properly practiced it. But I guess without further ado, let's go ahead and discuss why it's a good idea to farm Hyperius for his loot. Now when it comes to farming Hyperius, I would say that there are at least two but possibly more reasons on why you'd want to do it. The first is that you can obtain the Nora fleet from Hyperius. Now normally you would have to spawn Vermivorous, which requires four people, and is more difficult to run repeatedly. And not only do you have to get lucky with the Varkid evolutions, but you also have to have four people that want to spawn Vermivorous, and you may not be able to pull that off. And by simply farming Hyperius, you have a much easier way to get the Nor fleet on your own time. Now, I think it's sort of important to mention that the Nor fleet isn't necessarily going to drop more frequently from Hyperius, sort of like how the Hellfire might drop more frequently with Scorch, but I think the way it works is because the Norfleet is simply in Hyperius's loot pool, you're going to want to farm him for that reason. I did want to go ahead and mention that because there is a good chance that if you farm Hyperius repeatedly, you may not get a Norfleet for a while. The second reason you would farm Hyperius is for the Tatler SMG. Not only is this weapon very powerful on Maya, but it's also relatively consistent when it comes to different variants. And put more simply, the Tatler will always spawn with a blade attachment and a fixed fire rate of 7.7. .7. And because of that, you can obtain four Tatlers in each element relatively quickly when compared to most other unique weapons. And while certain weapon parts will increase base damage or reduce it, Ultimately, you can get a Fire, Corrosive, Shock, and Slag Tatler relatively quickly, and they will all deal roughly the same damage. Otherwise, if you are going to farm Hyperius, you may want the Evolution Shield, which boosts maximum health and has fairly high elemental damage resistance for an Adaptive Shield, or you may simply want the Shredifier, Hornet, or any of the other legendaries that Hyperius can drop as well. So while I would say that Pyro Pete is probably better for just generic legendaries, Hyperius is really good if you want the Norfleet, and if you want the Tatler SMG, and maybe if you want the Evolution Shield. But with that out of the way, let's talk a little bit about what you will specifically need in order to perform this kill. If you want to just cheese Hyperius, your best option for character selection is going to be to go with Zero. And while all of the Vault Hunters can take down Hyperius with varying degrees of effort, I think you'll find that this fight is easiest and potentially the fastest with Zero thanks to Zero's boar skill. And while I'm sure that many of you Borderlands 2 veterans are familiar with this method, for the uninitiated, we want Zero's boar skill because it allows the player to not only fire shots that can pierce through enemies and hit enemies behind the initial enemy, but also because the damage is effectively doubled every time a bullet pierces through an enemy. And as I'm sure you can imagine, this becomes insanely powerful provided you have enough enemies to pierce through. And as it pertains to Hyperius, you can use the loader minions that he summons during the fight to really get the most out of boar. Though the problem is getting all four of Hyperius's loader minions to be in front of him or around him. To solve this problem, we have singularity grenades. With proper throwing, you should be able to orient all four of Hyperius's loader minions in front of Hyperius. That way, you can reliably position yourself in front of Hyperius and his minions to get that clean boar shot. And when it comes to the specifics for Singularity Grenades, uh, you will need a specific version, and I tend to recommend a longbow slag variant with as low of a fuse time as possible. And the reason for this is because you want to be able to drag Hyperius's minions where you want them to go. And with a homing or rubberized Singularity Grenade, the game will end up deciding for you, making things a lot more difficult. As for weapons, you're just going to want a weapon that is compatible with boar. 
thankfully, most weapons in Borderlands 2, with the exception of grenade assault rifles or rocket launchers, will work with boar. With this said though, it's highly recommended that you get a weapon that fires a lot of projectiles per shot, such as something like a shotgun or legendary weapons like the Slaga or Unkempt Herald. Ideally though, you're going to want a moxie weapon which will allow you to heal off of all of the insane boar damage that you're going to be dealing to Hyperius, and on this front, I highly recommend the Kitten Assault Rifle. After that, you can really use whatever else you want, though I suppose if you do want a specific build or guide to follow, here's what I'm going to be using for the runs in this video. As you can see from the skill tree, this is fairly standard. Obviously, I got boar and picked up a few other skills in the sniping tree, and arguably, you really only need headshot and killer, though I did put a few points in precision and velocity. As for the cunning tree, I went with fast hands, ambush, rising shot, two fang, and innervate. Uh, not to mention that I went ahead and picked up kunai because, you know, why not? And for the Bloodshed Tree, I went ahead and picked up Iron Hand, though I suppose you could get Killing Blow if you really wanted, but I would recommend that you get Grim and Follow Through, as both are good kill skills for Zero. And like I mentioned earlier, when it comes to the gear that I'm using, I'm using a Kitten and a Slag Singularity Grenade, but after that, I'm using the Legendary Killer Class Mod, I'm using the Antagonist Shield, though I think you could use whatever you're comfortable with, it's just I generally like the Antagonist. And finally, I'm using a Stockpile Relic that boosts Grenade Count though I suppose you could also use a Firebone of the Ancients, and that would actually be better to improve your damage against Hyperius, because Hyperius is vulnerable to fire damage. But let's go ahead and talk about strategy and how you're supposed to pull this kill off. When you start the fight, you're going to shoot Hyperius and quickly turn to the left and hide behind the pipe here. And the reason you do this is because Hyperius's Nova only deals damage to the player if the player is in line of sight. And by simply moving behind this object, you can negate the damage that the first Nova would normally deal. After that, you're going to want to move towards Hyperius while avoiding all of the missile projectiles that are being fired by the loaders. And once you get close enough and you feel pretty good about where your thrown grenades are going to go, you're going to need to throw your grenades and try to get all of the minion loaders in front of Hyperius. And ideally, you want to do this in roughly like three to four grenade throws. And once you've accomplished this, make sure that the loaders are as close to Hyperius as possible and try to align your shots in such a way to where Hyperius is the final target and then fire. And if you've done it right, you should hear this really loud overlapping of the boar sound effect and you should see Hyperius's health bar just disintegrate. And once you've done that, simply exit the arena and re-enter to safely claim whatever loot that has dropped. So if you're wondering why this works, it has to do with the overlapping hitboxes on Hyperius and his minions. And what you're essentially getting here is a situation where the initial projectile fired is passing through some of the enemies multiple times to further increase the damage. And once it finally hits Hyperius, the damage has built up so much that it pretty much just kills Hyperius in one shot. Now, if you're curious, it's actually possible to pull this trick off with the game's starter pistol, and it's worth mentioning too that the level of the weapon that you're using doesn't matter either, because as long as it can bore, it has the potential to kill Hyperius. It's just that with what I'm doing here, we're using a weapon that's far easier to bore with and provides us additional healing in case we do fail. Speaking of failure, there are a couple of things that can totally mess you up when trying to pull this off, and perhaps one of the most obvious is simply running out of grenades. As I mentioned earlier, you're going to want to get the minions properly positioned in front of Hyperius with three or four grenades. Then, if you need to make adjustments, you should use your remaining grenades sparingly throughout the fight. Now, if you do run out of grenades, there isn't really a way to get more unless you equip a magic missile or any other spell grenade to help you regenerate some. And my advice is that before you start this fight, 
make sure you're carrying the maximum amount of grenades possible and always remember to throw singularities on the ground and not at the shields to help conserve your grenades. Another problem you may encounter revolves around Hyperius' stagger when he is hit with boar. Assuming your boar attempt is unsuccessful, Hyperius can stagger out of alignment, and this can actually prove to be very difficult to deal with because you will have to reset your minions and then try again. To remedy this, I've usually found that I've had the most success boring Hyperius when the minions are as close to him as possible. That way, if he does end up staggering, he doesn't move or he doesn't move very far out of alignment. Also, if you are using the Kitten Assault Rifle, make sure that you are relatively close to Hyperius and the minions that you're shooting at. That way, the Kitten's projectile spread is relatively tight when the projectiles actually finally hit Hyperius. Ultimately though, just try to be patient and make sure you get your alignment just right, and if things don't work out, go ahead, cool off, just reset, and reposition the minions again, and try to get your alignment right again, and then fire and see if it gets it. At the end of the day, I think playing a zero and performing a boar kill on Hyperius tends to be the easiest strategy, and while it does take some practice to get this method down, assuming you can consistently pull this off, you should be able to farm Hyperius fairly fast and relatively safely. That way, you should be able to get that North lead in no time. But alright guys, I think that's going to wrap up this particular video. If you like this video, feel free to leave a like and let me know if you would like to see more videos like this one on some of the other raid bosses. Otherwise, click the bell to join the notification squad, and as always, take care and I'll see you all next time.